Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, I Shard, and welcome back to a, another episode of My Universe Mode. Now, in the last episode of Raw, we saw Dean Ambrose defeat Daniel Bryan to become normal contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. And now we are here at NXT, our first NXT, before, um, well, after Elimination Chamber, and let's get right into this. So, first off, we have Shinsuke Nakamura taking on Cruiserweight Classic member Son of Havoc. We have Alexa Bliss along with Murphy taking on our Eva Lise. We have Solomon Crow taking on the debuting TJ Perkins. That should be interesting. Another Cruiserweight Classic match as X Pac takes on Zack Sabre Jr. Then Tyson Kidd, another Cruiserweight Classic member, takes on Baron Corbin, our former NXT champion. And then in a tag team match, we have the Balor Club taking on a new team, it seems, of Alex Riley and Elias Sampson. That should be a very good match. And so Shinsuke Nakamura with a big win over Son of Havoc. Eva Lee's knocks off Alexa Bliss, our new women's champion. Zack Sabre Jr. is going to the Cruiserweight Classic. Baron Corbin with a big win over Tyson Kidd. And the Balor Club able to get a big win over Alex Riley and Elias Sampson, but you can't take anything away from them. They could be a very big, good team if they work towards that kind of stuff. Um, if you guys actually want to see that team, actually comment. I really want to see what you guys think about that team. That could be a pretty interesting team. I came up with that on the fly. It doesn't really have that much together, and so I feel like they could be pretty good, though. I mean, Elias Sampson... Alex Riley, they could be pretty good in my opinion. But on the last Raw, yes, though it was a Raw Super Show, even though it wasn't so super. <laughs> but we had those few matches, and so the number one contender, Dean Ambrose. Even though Triple H, we haven't seen Triple H at all in a little while. He he didn't say anything about uh, getting a rematch at the next pay per view or anytime soon. And so we had to do the next big thing, and we had to just put a new number one contendership match. Daniel Bryan had a chance to become a two-time number one contender. Um, number one contendership is not as good as being a champion, but still, Kevin Owens and Dean Ambrose will take each other on at SummerSlam, so that should be a great match, in my opinion. And this match loads, alright. But here comes... I am going to say Solomon Crow. Here comes Solomon Crow to the ring. The following contest is scheduled for Crow, He is ring. one of the biggest superstars to date right now. He has been targeting Tommaso Ciampa, our current NXT television champion. And so that should be an interesting match between them two. If he has to accept it, if he accepts it. But here comes TJ Perkins. One a member that will actually his debut right now, but a member that will be in the um, what's it called, cruiserweight classic uh, qualifying match. So you'll have to see exactly who he faces pretty soon. But he makes his way to the ring. Solomon Crow, T.J. Perkins, and this match begins. Oh, and a big forearm, taking him down real quickly. Oh man. Wait, wait. And TJ Perkins coming back though. Oh. And now TJ Perkins. Wait, wait, TJ Perkins. I cannot believe that. <laughs> With TJ Perkins, TJ Perkins, and a, okay, I was about to say a power bomb, but turned into a hurricanrana. And TJ Perkins, oh man. Oh. And a hurricanrana of his own now. Going for the pin onto Solomon Crow. One. And no, not enough to get the big pin call. And, ooh, taking him down by the neck though. Oh my god. And Ooh. I just saw a Dean uh Dean Ambrose um logo or uh, sign and that kinda does make sense. We have seen if you don't watch the Indies from like two thousand and eight and all that, early two thousand, then you wouldn't more well yeah. 
we wouldn't have seen Solomon Crow and um, Dean Ambrose, formerly known. I'm not going to say who they're formerly known as, but because I don't want you guys to research them. Mm -hmm. But they were a big tag team in the past, and they have been pretty good. Oh. And now going right after him. Wait. Solomon Crow, Solomon Crow. And no. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. DDT takes him down. That way he was able to get out of the ring. Oh, man. Ooh. And Solomon Crow took him down a brain buster on the. <laughs> And now, just tossing him. He was not able to get in the ring. However, he was pushed down. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest Ooh. hint of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head. Wait, wait. And a springboard. Oh, my God. A reason why he's a part of the Cruiserweight Classic. He's not exactly popping up to his feet here. Well, We're getting back to his goal? feet. Did you see what just happened? Get wait, ready, wait. Folks. Get ready. Ooh, skull crushing finale, it seems like. Is that gonna be enough to get the win? One. No, not enough. Ooh, a big kick. We are yet to see TJ Perkins actually fight in a wrestling ring or a T NXT WWE similar type ring. However, a little known fact, well, I mean, it's a did you know fact, I guess you could call it. <laughs> but TJ Perkins wrestled under the name of JT Quinn in a an ECW show. Not the good ECW, the crack of time. But yeah, still, he did wrestle on that. And, oh, and a frog splash. One, two, no, 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 no. Wait, oh. Wait, wait, Solomon Crow. Oh man. Wait, Solomon Crow, Solomon Crow. Walk to Jericho. Is he fighting it? He's fighting it. He's fighting it. And he submits. He submits to the walls of Jericho. And a big win here for Solomon Crow here tonight. You can't take any, anything away from TJ Perkins. He could be a great guy in a Cruiserweight Classic if he's able to win. If he can qualify, that is. But a big win here for Solomon Crow. Getting some help. Momentum. If he wants that television championship, Kamasa Champa is waiting. You gotta know that. But thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.